Hey guys, it's Tiffany from supereasymath.com. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to calculate the median of a data set. Median. What is median? The median is the middle number of a data set that's listed in numerical order. Some steps to follow when calculating the median when you have an odd number of values. First, you want to arrange the numbers in your data set in order from least to greatest. Then you want to identify the number that lands exactly in the middle of the data set. That number is your median. The steps you're going to follow if you have an even number of values in your data set. First, you're gonna arrange the numbers in your data set in order from least to greatest. Next, you're gonna identify the two numbers that are in the middle of the data set. The median is the mean of the two middle numbers. Let's take a look at example number one. Calculate the median of the following data set. If you have the numbers two, nine, four, eight, and five, you're first gonna start by ordering these numbers in order from least to greatest. So I have two, and once I use a number from my data set, I like to cross it off to make sure I don't use it again. Next, I have the number four. When I look across this row from left to right, I can see that the lowest number of nine, four, eight, and five is four. So I'm gonna write that one next and cross it off my list. My smallest number now is five. Cross it off and write. My next smallest number is eight. Cross it off and write. And my last number is this nine. So I cross it off and write it. Now, because this is an odd number of numbers in my data set, I can find the middle number pretty easily. It's also a smaller data set, so that helps me find the middle number pretty easily, okay? So I have two numbers on the right that I've crossed off, and I have two numbers on the left that I crossed off, and my middle number is five. So five is my median. Let's take a look at example number two. Example number two, calculate the median of the following data set. I have four, nine, two, one, 10, and eight. Well, again, I'm gonna order these numbers from least to greatest, and when I'm looking left or right at my data set, I can see that one is my smallest number, so I'm gonna cross it off and write it. I got one. My next smallest number is two, cross it off and write it. My next smallest number is four, cross it off and write it. My next smallest number is eight, cross it off and write it. My next smallest number is nine, cross it off and write it. My last number is 10. And sometimes I like to count just to make sure I didn't miss a number in my data set. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six numbers up top and I have one, two, three, four, five, six numbers at the bottom. So I did it right. Now, if I were to say, hmm, let me take two off the right and two off the left, so let's do that. I'm left with two in the middle, okay? This is an even data set, so there's not just a single number left over, okay? And I do want you to watch out for something. I've seen students sometimes cross off and they'll say, okay, cross this one off, cross this off, and then come back and cross the nine off, and then cross the two off, and what happens is, They'll come back and cross the eight off and then they're left with a four and say, oh, that's in the middle because it's what's left and actually it's not. So if you notice, when I crossed off my numbers, I grouped them at a time to make sure I'm crossing off the same amount on both sides. So I crossed off two on the right and I also crossed off two on the left. This helps me sort of keep track with how many numbers I've crossed off so I don't end up crossing off too many on one side and not enough on the other side and I think I have my median, but I don't because I'm not actually in the middle. This is more likely to happen when you have a very large data set. This data set is still pretty small, so it's unlikely that we're gonna mess it up. Well, anyway, right now my two middle numbers are four and eight, and what I need to do is calculate the mean of these two numbers. And if you remember, mean is an average where you add the numbers of your data set in this case, four plus eight equals 12. And then you divide by how many numbers you have. And four is a number, eight is a number, that means I got two numbers. So I divide by two and I get six. So 
the median to this data set is six. Let's take a look at example number three. Aunt Jane has five children, aged 15, eight, three, 18, and 10. What is the age of the middle child? Well, let's order these numbers in order from least to greatest. The smallest of this data set is three. I'm gonna cross it off and write it. My next smallest is eight. Cross it off and write it. My next smallest is 10. Cross it off and write it. My next smallest is 15. Cross it off and write it. My next smallest is 18. Cross it off and write it. Now again, I'm gonna cross off two on my right and cross two off on my left to make sure I'm crossing off the same amount. I'm left with 10 in the middle. So what's the age of the middle child? 10 is the age of the middle child. Example number four. Here's a collection of grades from a sixth grade math class. We have 58, 85, 50, 90, 41, and 67. The question asks, what is the median? Well, again, I'm gonna follow the same steps. I'm gonna order my numbers from least to greatest. After looking at my data set, I can see that my smallest number is 41, so I'm gonna cross it off and write it. My next smallest number is 50. Cross it off and write it. My next smallest number is 58. Cross it off and write it. My next smallest number is 67. Cross it off and write it. My next smallest is 85. Cross it off and write it. And finally, my largest number is 90. And again, I'm gonna count the numbers in my data set to make sure I didn't miss something. I have one, two, three, four, five, six up top. And on the bottom, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm doing good. Now, I'm gonna cross off two at a time, cross off two here, cross off two here. I'm left with two in the middle. This is gonna be one of those examples where I have to calculate the mean to get the answer. So, to calculate the mean of this, I'm going to Right, 58 plus 67 and get an answer. Well, if you remember, when you're adding, it doesn't matter which one you put on top. So you can put the 58 on top, you can put the 67 on top. It really doesn't matter if you're gonna do it by hand. Let's say I do do it by hand because I don't have a calculator handy or something. Well, 77 is 14, that's 15. And then right here I have 12. So the answer to the sum portion of my mean calculation here is 125. Then if you remember, when you're calculating mean, you wanna divide by how many numbers you have, and 58 is a number, 67 is a number, so that's two numbers, I'm gonna divide by two. So 125 divided by two, let's see what that is. 125 divided by two, I get a six. Now I know a short division way, and there's no remainder here. This is gonna be two, and then it's gonna be a 0.5, there's a remainder, so 62.5. And I'm gonna circle my answer because my work area is getting a little messy and I wanna make sure I'm clarifying my answer. Whoever's looking over your paper is gonna appreciate this because that's gonna help clarify what your answer is. Here's our recap. First, arrange the numbers in numerical order when you're calculating the median. Then, if the number of values is odd, the median is the middle number. But if the number of values is even, the median is the mean of the two middle numbers. Now you try. Comment with the correct answer below. What is the median of the following data set? 21, 5, 13, 19, and 8. You can find more of my videos at supereasymath.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe.